Before we begin, we want to thank the great folks at Bartitian Premium Cocktail Maker for sending out a product sample to our office. We were so impressed with what we call their, or should we say, our new robot bartender, that it inspired this Valentine's Day podcast episode. The drinks are fantastic, the quality of the cocktail maker is top shelf, and the setup of the bar Tishin was, well, simple enough that I didn't need my wife to help. Now, on with the show. Gentlemen, welcome to Liquortainment Inc., where good spirits meet great ideas. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room wearing a diaper and aiming a bow and arrow dangerously close to our backsides. Yes, Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, the annual performance review of intimacy. It's the day when florists triple their prices and chocolate suddenly becomes the currency of love. Suddenly, you're not just a guy who can't find his socks in the morning. You're the grand orchestrator of romance. As if the ghosts of St. Valentine's past aren't enough, there's that lingering concern that somewhere someone is outdoing you with a grand gesture that involves skydiving cupids and singing telegrams. But let's take a hearty swig of reality, shall we? Not all of us are built for the pomp and plush of velvety love. Some of us find true connection in the sanctuary of our man caves amidst the sacred scents of leather and unwashed victory. So, grab a beverage, kick back in that chair with the suspicious stains, and let's dismantle these Valentine's myths one chuckle at a time. By the end of this, you'll not only be prepped to turn that man cave into a den of amour, but also ready to show the Hallmark holiday how real men celebrate love, with a touch of class, a dash of fun, and a whole lot of duct tape. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get to work transforming pressure into pleasure, the kind that doesn't require a manual or a call to tech support. Ah, Valentine's Day, you can't escape it, can you? It's the day when florists suddenly drive sports cars and chocolate becomes the currency of love. But let's be honest, for a lot of us, the traditional fanfare feels a bit like wearing a suit to a pajama party. It's just not a fit. Now, I'm not disparaging the power of a dozen roses, but have you ever seen a man panic buying flowers at a gas station? It's not the epitome of romance. It's survival instinct sprinkled with desperation. If anything, it screams, I remembered Valentine's Day exactly 17 minutes ago. Then there's the classic candlelit dinner at a fancy restaurant. You know, the place with more forks than courses and a sommelier who looks at you with disdain when you mispronounce Merlot. But let's face it, being sandwiched between other couples, all whispering, Sweet nothings like conspiring spies isn't exactly intimate. And don't get me started on chocolates in heart-shaped boxes. I mean, if the way to one's heart is through their stomach, shouldn't we be gifting something a tad more personal than a factory-produced confection that suggests, I love you, but only in prearranged geometric patterns? But perhaps the pièce de résistance of these bygone traditions is the surprise gift, a stuffed teddy bear holding a heart, as if to say, I'm 35 and I still shop in the toy aisle. Or worse, a generic piece of jewelry hastily grabbed during a lunch break. Nothing says, you're special, quite like a mass-produced necklace that screams, there are thousands like it, but this one's also not unique. What we've got here, my friends, is a Valentine's vortex of cliches. They say it's the thought that counts, but what were we thinking? Admit it, cobbling together these tokens of affection doesn't quite stir the soul. So... What's a fellow to do? Well, stick around, because I'm about to unveil how you can ditch those dusty V-Day blueprints and craft a celebration that's more tailored to the modern man's love manifesto. And no, it doesn't involve a last-minute dash to the all-night drugstore. Unless, of course, you're picking up batteries for the remote. But that's a love story for another day. So, you've decided to take the plunge and turn your fortress of solitude, aka the man cave, into something less cave and more, let's say, nook of endearment for this Valentine's Day. Fear not, my romantically challenged friend, for this mission doesn't require a degree in interior design, just a hearty can-do attitude and perhaps a slight suspension of disbelief. First, let's address the elephant in the room, lighting. Fellas, nothing says... I'd rather be watching sports like the glare of neon beer signs. It's time to switch them off and let the soothing glow of dimmer lights take the lead. Consider some smart bulbs that you can control with your phone. That way, if the mood lighting is so subtle you can't see what you're eating, a quick tap on your screen will bring you back from the brink of total darkness. Next, we're tackling ambiance. Go ahead and temporarily retire the sports memorabilia and action figures. Instead, think throw pillows that don't feature your favorite team's logo. Lay down a cozy rug to soften those beer-spill-stained floors. Oh, and for the love of St. Valentine, make sure it doesn't smell like a locker room. 
Candles or essential oil diffusers can be your best allies here. Gentle scents like vanilla or sandalwood can transform your manly lair into an exotic escape, or at least something that doesn't remind her of the gym. Now, on to personalization. It's not enough to just set the scene. You've got to make it feel like it's tailored to the two of you. Here's the thing. No, you do not need to swap out the massive TV for a backdrop of lace and unicorns. Or whatever. But perhaps. Load a flash drive with a gallery of photos that she'll realize are of shared memories. Go from theme to theme. Maybe start with fun or embarrassing snapshots, then to pictures of ticket stubs from your first movie date or photos of the venue you were at in the earliest of times. Don't be afraid to raid your sweetie's Facebook page. She only posts things that she feels are important. Find the most specials of those pics, but don't go too far back in her history. When you want her to think of you, and only you, a snapshot of an old boyfriend just ain't going to help your cause. Now, let's talk music. The piece de resistance is, of course, is the playlist. Crafted as if you were scoring the most romantic movie montage, something that doesn't scream workout mix but has a beat that says, yes, I did think about more than what kind of pizza to order. There you have it, gentlemen. Your man cave is now ready to be the setting for a romance novel, not a sports almanac. Remember, the goal is to make your partner feel like they've stepped into a thoughtfully curated evening, not just your everyday hangout spot. So put down that controller, pick up those scented candles, and let's bring a little Cupid back into the cave. Let's be frank. The way to a person's heart is often through their stomach. But on Valentine's Day, the expectations for a meal can be as inflated as those heart-shaped balloons at the grocery store. Fear not, fellow culinary cavaliers, because we're about to embark on a gastro journey that'll turn your man cave into the hottest ticket in town. Starting with the star of the show, the main dish. Forget reservation woes and cook up a storm with something deceptively simple yet elegant. Ever heard of engagement chicken? Legend has it that it's so good. A proposal is sure to follow. Well, consider this its casual cousin, Valentine's veal. Just sear some veal chops, deglaze the pan with wine, and kiss it with a sprinkle of rosemary. It's so tender and juicy, you'll have her swooning. No to the veal? Then lamb will do the trick as well. Looking for a couple of drinks to start the evening? Now wedging yourself between two other couples at a cramped cocktail bar? That's not romance, it's an eavesdropping convention. Instead, shake up some libations at home with a cocktail shaker that's seen more action than a 90s action star. Try a love potion number nine. Mix a dash of gin, a sprinkle of elderflower liqueur, topped off with a blush of fresh lemon juice and a tickle of tonic water. It's refreshing, slightly floral, and packs more charm than a rom-com lead. If you cannot mix a drink to save your life, head to Home Depot. Yeah, really. Get to your nearest Home Depot and get yourself a Bartesian premium cocktail machine. Not only will you two have some crazy awesome cocktails, but you will have a cocktail maker for years to come. Consider the Bartesian as your personal robot bartender. Now. For the finale, it's time for a dessert. Because what's amore without a sweet encore? You don't need to be a pastry chef to whip up something impressive. Here's a secret. Melt in the middle chocolate fondants. They sound swanky, but just pop those little ramekins in the oven and voila, you've got gooey, chocolatey bliss. The only thing melting faster than the chocolate will be your date's heart. Remember, it's Valentine's Day, not a Michelin star inspection. Beside your charming wit, the most impressive thing you can serve is effort. So don your apron with pride and turn that deep fryer off. Tonight, the man cave is serving love on a platter with a side of chuckles. Cheers to not starving alone, my friends. So you've dimmed the lights, you've got the ambient music that's halfway between a saxophone solo and a whale's mating call, and the man cave is looking more like a cave of wonders than a storage unit for your fantasy football trophies. But a true romantic overhaul doesn't end at atmosphere. It's about reinventing the wheel, my friends. And no, I don't mean literally taking a tire and turning it into a coffee table. Though, if you pull that off, hats off to you, MacGyver. What I'm getting at is shaking up date night. Think beyond the humdrum dinner and a movie, why not host your own paint and sip? Grab some canvases, a couple of brushes, and maybe just sip, because let's be honest, neither of you are going to be the next Picasso. Or how about a DIY spa night? Nothing screams romance like peeling a cucumber face mask off your significant other's face, especially if you've placed that mask with the grace of a toddler finger painting. It's about the experience, the laughter, and hint hint, it's a killer way to show off those soft hands that definitely don't spend most of their time clutching a game controller. Get even wilder with an indoor camping experience. Throw a tent up, roll out those sleeping bags, and if you can't light a campfire without the fire department getting involved, 
just creatively arrange some LED candles and call it mood lighting. Roast marshmallows over a candle. If you manage not to set off your smoke alarm, consider it a win. My final suggestion, host your own private TED Talk, The Art of Love, where you both take turns presenting PowerPoint slides on what you adore about each other. It's endearing and educationally romantic, or at the very least, you'll get some good laughs and find out who's the most likely to break the internet with their meme knowledge. Whatever you do, just remember, unusual can be unparalleled, especially when you're in good company. And remember, if the evening starts to turn a little awkward, just go with it. That's the charm of going off script. After all, the best moments in life are ad-libbed, aren't they? All right, fellas, let's shift gears and talk about the little things. Yes, I'm talking about those small, seemingly minor gestures that, believe it or not, can melt even the iciest of hearts. We're not carving our names onto a tree here. We're talking subtlety laced with affection, like leaving a little note inside her favorite snack packet. Think of it as a complimentary fortune cookie without the need to eat the takeaway first. Or imagine replacing a worn-out piece of something she uses daily with a new one without her mentioning it. Now that's ninja-level thoughtfulness. How about programming her favorite radio station into your car stereo presets? It's the 21st century equivalent of making her a mixtape, just without the cassette part. And remember, the trick isn't to shout your affections from the rooftop, but to whisper them so only she hears it. Here's another Liquortainment Inc. love tip. Print out a photo of a special moment you've shared and sneak it into her wallet. Trust me, the surprise selfie from that beach trip beats the fanciest of greeting cards. And before you ask, no, doing dishes is not a small gesture. That's called doing your part. However, framing it as giving her a night off from kitchen duties by taking charge of the dishwasher, that's the kind of spin that gets you the heart eyes emoji. Guys, it's all about the details that show you've been paying attention. It's the personal twist that turns a humdrum Thursday into the prequel of your very own rom-com. So, practice the art of personalization, because when Valentine's Day is knocking, it's the tiny surprise moves that turn your average Joe into Romeo. Well, my romantic renegades and knights of the night in, we've reached the end of our little soiree into transforming your man cave from a solo player's stronghold to a duo's dream den. Remember, the key to a successful Valentine's Day is the same as getting the high score on your favorite video game. All about the effort and a bit of strategic planning. So light those fancy candles instead of your workbench, cook something that doesn't include the words instant or microwave, and for the love of all things romantic, please avoid gifting tools unless it's a Build-A-Bouquet kit. Whether you choose to engage in indoor Olympic games, attempt a culinary conquest together, or simply huddle by a faux fireplace video, the magic is in the laughter shared and the memories made. So don't sweat the small stuff, gents. If you can laugh together, you're already halfway to Cupid's bullseye. Keep it lighthearted, stay genuine, and who knows? Your man cave might just become a love shack yet. Keep loving, keep laughing. Until next time, cheers to your happily ever after. Or at least, your happily ever February the 14th. <laughs>